Manhattan killed a knife-wielding man after an attack at a, on a student inside a synagogue. And that's where we find our Monica Morales. She's live in Crown Heights with the dramatic video that is really disturbing. Monica, and were you able to connect any of the dots together as to why this even happened in the late morning hours? Yeah, they're still investigating, but we know that he went in there looking for a book, possibly a Bible. That's all we know, Suki, and they came back with that knife, and then there was this confrontation. We want to tell you the police released a picture of the knife. It is a nine-inch knife with a four-inch blade. I want to show you the scene behind me here, though. The detectives all over Eastern Parkway here, once this van moves out of the way, they say they were forced to shoot in self-defense inside that synagogue. Uh, detectives taken over Eastern Parkway here at the Shabbat Lubavitch World Headquarters synagogue. Police say 49-year-old man stabbed a 22-year-old Israeli student inside the synagogue. They are looking live here. Uh, and there was a standoff. It was caught on videotape. Take a look. A tense standoff between police and this 49 year old suspect that lasted several minutes. At one point, the suspect puts the knife down only to pick it up again and lunge at police. Police officer appears to be forced to shoot him in the torso. The suspect rushed to Kings County Hospital where he later died. Again, uh, he allegedly stabbed a 22 year old Israeli student in the neck. Uh, again, Suki, like you were asking, the cause, uh, the motive, that is still an investigation back out here live. We're being told the student that was stabbed. Uh, underwent surgery this morning, and he is in stable condition at the hospital. This is a developing story. As soon as we get more information, we'll bring it right to you. For now, we're live in Crown Heights. Monica Morales, Pix 11 News. Obviously, more questions than answers this morning. Monica, thank you. It is 7.